Welcome back. In a Lean Six Sigma project, where decisions are based on facts and data, it is very critical to establish a measurement system and also assess the value of doing a project in financial terms. This lesson is going to cover how to identify the metrics in the project, which could be monitored during project implementation. Metrics tell us the performance of a project attributes in measurable and comparable terms. There is a combination of metrics to assess the process performance. In previous lessons, we have seen the Y and X and also that there is a link between the two. We will see in the next slide, what are the primary and secondary metrics and how they link to these Y and Xs. Putting a metrics system in place helps to control both the process and the output. Using a metrics and measurement system has many benefits. As there's a saying, what is measured gets managed. Converting vague requirements with the help of tools like CTQ, help in better understanding and management of the process. Primary metrics should represent the why, the big why which a project wants to improve. For example, customer satisfaction. It should be addressed in the problem and goal statement as well. Ideally, we should have one primary metric in a project, which should map to the most important CTQ. Question now comes what should be the characteristics of a primary metric? The basic characteristic is that it should accurately describe the desired condition of the process. The primary metric must accurately describe the actual state of the process and should also address the outcome. It should be aligned with key performance indicators of the organization. Another important point is that metrics need to be calculated and monitored frequently, else it is of no use. As far as possible, Metrics should have minimum intervention of people as that would enhance the confidence in conclusions made. Let us see now what is a secondary metric. While a primary metric measures what needs to be fixed, the secondary metric measures what must not be broken. It gives a holistic picture of the ongoing process. The independent variables, X's, can be used to track secondary metrics. Let us take the example of our cafe. If number of customers served per hour is the primary metric, waiters may start working inappropriately fast to maximize the primary metric. This will be detrimental to the business. On the other hand, if a secondary metric that measures the number of dissatisfied customer out of total customer served, then there is a check on the quality of service as well, and not just the quantity. Another question that may come to mind is that, how to identify secondary metrics in the process? We should keep in mind that if a great number of secondary metrics are chosen, it may become difficult for the management to keep track of them and make conclusions. Here is how to choose the best secondary metrics for the smooth functioning of the process. First method is to select these from identified critical to quality measures. The most important critical to quality measure usually becomes the primary metric. The other critical to quality measures are good candidates for secondary metrics. This is because since they are critical, their value needs to be controlled. Hence the top few metrics which determine the quality of output should be made secondary metrics. Second method can be potential problems. Another method of finding out secondary metrics is to figure out what can possibly go wrong with the Six Sigma project. Anything which has a chance of reversing or reducing the improvements made by the Six Sigma project need attention and can be tracked as a secondary metric. Primary and secondary metrics should be continually measured and frequently updated during the project's life cycle. Metrics can be classified in many ways, depending on the context in which they are used. Another classification of metrics is operational and financial metrics. Operational metrics are those which are related to process and outputs, like turnaround time, defect rate, etc. Financial metrics are related to money, for example, profitability ratios, sales comparisons etc. Let us again go to the case that we discussed in previous lessons. Your cafe, coffee cravings, has a good customer base in the town. On an average, you host around 200 customers on daily basis. Since, last few months you have found that customer service time has gone up. The customer has to wait and at time their queues. Now, you want to improve the situation by reducing the waiting time. Below is some figures for your reference. Current average wait time is 15 minutes while desired wait time is 5 minutes. 
In the project charter that you created after previous lesson, add the section on metrics. Identify the primary and secondary metrics in this scenario. Think of the y and x's that you had identified earlier. Link all those dots and identify the suitable metrics which will help you in the improvement project. Now we move on to the next lesson. Please do not forget to mark this chapter as complete. Help us help you in a better way by providing feedback on each lesson. Should you need any support, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching this video.